Hi, Grace Kids, Pastor Kate here, and I am so excited about this week and our series on God is So Big. We are talking about worship all this month, and this week we will be talking about Joshua. It's gonna be great. So our bottom line is, what's going on? What are you doing, Pastor Danielle? I, I'm trying to do something right here. Oh, I'm really sorry I didn't see you there. So can you explain yourself, please? Oh, sure. So I was building a wall. Yeah, yeah. But I want my wall to fall down. Okay, and I don't understand why there's a trumpet. Well, I heard this story one time and I heard we were gonna hear it again today. Yeah. So I need this trumpet and I need to walk around the wall so the wall will fall down. Okay, so... I Okay, so are you like worshiping God? What are you doing? Yes, I am worshiping God with my trumpet so all of my problems will fall down. Oh, because of our bottom line? Yeah, wait, what was our bottom line again? Our bottom line this week is when we face a problem, we start with worship. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Okay, so, but what if you don't, what if kids at home don't have trumpets or other instruments? Oh, that's okay. You can do this. I guess that works. Well, anyways, kids, I hope you enjoyed the lesson this week. Hey, Grace Kids. Today, the memory verse, we are gonna do something with motions again. We did it on the first week, but Miss Janice wasn't with me to do that. So we're gonna teach Miss Janice the motions and we're gonna review those motions for you. So everybody stand up and I'm let's so excited do the motions together. You ready? Yes, I'm so All excited. All right, so it's let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, Psalm 150, verse six. Let's do it again. I can do this. Okay, All right. let's do it. All right, here we go. So, let everything that has breath praise the Lord, praise the Lord, Psalm 150, verse six. I Good think job. I got it. You I got, got it. it. No, but that's okay. No, it's okay. Awesome. Have a great week, Grace Kids. Bye. Hey, Pastor Scott. Hey, Pastor Trish. What Bible story are we learning about today? Um, we're going to learn about the walls of Jericho. 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 Joshua and the walls of Jericho. <gasps> what was he doing on the wall? Well, he Walking wasn't actually him? on the wall. Oh, okay. Okay. But in Joshua chapter 6, we actually find the story where Joshua and the Israelites get to the town of Jericho. Uh-huh. And then God gives them something very unusual to do because they were supposed to overtake the people inside the city. Oh. <gasps> What did he tell him to do? Well, it's unusual, so I need you to like brace yourself. Bracing? Okay, because they're actually gonna be doing something that would seem in the natural kind of unusual, unique, because what God told them to do was like he says- Like you dancing? <laughs> I'm, I don't dance. I, I have no rhythm, but thank you for bringing that up. You're welcome. Okay, so God told him, he said, Joshua, I want you to take the people and I want you to march around the walls of the city. Oh, marching. Okay. Once every day for six. Oh, 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 I know this one. What do you mean you know this one? I know this story. Okay. Joshua fought the battle of Shem. No, 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 no. Remember, a couple oh, weeks ago, we yeah. discovered that unless you have the singing mic, you, yes. can, you don't sing the best. But I've been getting lessons. Have you? Do I sound a little better? Okay, let's try one more time. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Kids? Jericho. Joshua what do you think? Of Jericho and the walls. But no, 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 I can't tell the rest of the story. You almost ruined the rest of the story. They oh. don't know the rest of the story. Oh, was I doing a spoiler? You almost did a spoiler alert. So the first day, the Israelites marched around the walls of the city. Perfect. Okay. And then they went back to their, their tents. They went back to their tents. Day number two, they marched, they marched again around the walls of the city. So who was in the front of their marching parade? They had some priests. Yeah? Yeah, there was seven of them actually. Whoa. And they marched around. And then on day three, guess what they did again? They marched. Very good. Like the ants go marching home again, hurrah, hurrah. But they weren't yeah. singing, doing stuff like that. Okay, day four? Yeah. March. There's, there's a lot of marching going on. Day five? Were they tired? 
Yeah, day five. Well, they only marched around once each day. Day five? They got to rest. No. Marching. Day six. Marching? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got it right again. You're amazing. Now, you need to brace yourself because day seven, something's getting ready to change. Day seven, something's changing. They get to rest and have a big dinner. Uh, no. They actually, on the last day, the seventh day, they actually marched around the wall seven times. Seven times marched around the whole city? Yeah, the oh walls of the city. Now, the, the Bible tells us the walls were very fortified. They had soldiers up there top watching. And I'd imagine if you were a soldier watching the people marching around it once every day, you had to wonder what is up with those Israelites, right? Probably thought they were a little crazy. Yeah. And then on the seventh day, they didn't just march around one time. How many times did they march around it? Seven times. Seven times. And once the seventh time happened, yeah. they made a lot of noise. What'd they say? Roar! Yeah, and they played instruments. And I <gasps> think we actually earlier, did you watch the video earlier with Pastor Danielle? I think she had like a trumpet or a horn yes. or something like that. Yeah, they started blowing the trumpets, horns, all this kind of stuff. They yelled and all of a sudden, those big, huge walls. They came tumbling down. Tumbling That's down. part of the song. Really? And so, the walls come tumbling down. Yeah. yeah, I knew it. And so what we've learned today is this, that worship. Because they worship. Yeah, it's, it's pretty powerful. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Like knocking walls down. Probably. Exactly. Now, in our lives, we may not have physical walls we're knocking down when we worship, right? Mm-hmm. But it does break down spiritual walls, right? Right. When I'm having a bad day, you know what song I like to listen to? What? This is how I fight my battles. Mm. This is how I fight my battles. It's a good song, It right? is a good song. And you know what? I sang on a couple Sundays ago, yeah. and I've decided that really my gift to the, to the world is me not singing. But you, on the other hand, I mean, I can tell you've been taking lessons. <laughs> so, so kids, we just want you to know this. Worship is so important, and it is a way of fighting our battles. Yeah, and it changes okay. everything. It does. It changes the, the atmosphere. Wow, that lesson was so good. It was amazing, and I think... Now, looking back at what you said earlier, you're totally right. We just need to start with worship when we face problems. I just wish I could carry a trumpet with me all the time. Yeah, but good thing that God gives us so many tools that we can use to worship Him through prayer, singing, all those good things. I love it. You're absolutely right. And we actually can do it on our own, right? Yeah, we can. We could actually do it right now, right here. That's awesome. Because you know, Pastor Kate, I, I've got kind of a tough week coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. School's starting up and I'm a little worried about what it's gonna look yeah, like. It, it looks so weird. Every time we go back, it's just so weird right it, now. It is. And I'm a little nervous that there might be some problems that I'm gonna face with that. Yeah, well, let's let's start with worship right now and let's pray about that and pray for our kids going back to school as well. And just ask God to take care of it and thank him for what he's already done because he's super awesome. That sounds great, All I right. love it. So kids at home, bow your head and close your eyes, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I am so grateful of how awesome you are, God, that you showed up in the story that we learned today, and God, you show up in our lives every day. And I just pray that you will help us to just have a good week, that you will help us to remember that when we have a problem, we start with worship. God, so that our problems don't seem as big, and they just get smaller when compared to you, because you are so big. I'm so thankful for all that you do. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. amen. And have a good week.